Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Today we're going to be refelting the Tiger Shark float, which is the glass cleaner for the 300 gallon reef. And you can see there's a lot of felt left on this. <laughs> it's It's gotten pretty bad. It's been two years. I did do a complete review on this a little while back. I'll try to find the video and put it in the uh, description. But anyway, um, it's been two years. It's worked out pretty good. I have no issues with it other than the felt wearing out. And that's pretty common for any kind of magnet cleaner that that is uh, this strong. So what we're going to do is uh, use some of this adhesive felt, which I picked up in bulk. I had to buy a ton of it just to get a single sheet, which is just a little bit that I need. But anyway, I will put some of this up on the website. So if you guys are interested, you can get it kind of like as a miscellaneous thing like I do for syringes and stuff like that are pretty common. So uh, by the time this video comes up, this will be on the website if you have to do this project yourself. But anyway, um, it's pretty simple. It's actually it's kind of, it's, it's almost not worth making a video, but I figured I'd share the stuff with you guys for the sake of putting the information out there. But uh, all I'm going to do is clean off all this excess uh, glue, tape, and this little bit of felt that's here. And then uh, clean it with some rubbing alcohol, of course, uh, get our uh, piece cut out, and then put it on there. And we're going to clean the glass and see how it does. So uh, first things first, I'm going to clean this. I'm going to put some music on, fast forward it, because it is going to take a while. I'm going to get in there with a razor blade and try to get it as clean as I possibly can. And then uh, we'll finish up with the video. Okay, so that took a few minutes. It wasn't too bad. I got most of it off. There's still a little bit of stickiness here on the wood, but I'm not really worried about it. The magnet itself is pretty clean. I did use a little bit of rubbing alcohol during the cleaning process to help bring up some of that glue. But uh, overall, it's pretty good. I was considering maybe getting the sander out, but no, nah, it's, it's, not, it's not that big of a deal. I don't need to go crazy trying to look for that. But uh, yeah, so next thing we're going to do is cut out the section. So it's pretty simple. Just line it up. All right, we're good there. Good there. Coming with a razor blade. Cut, and then, of course, do the other side. Remove the excess, and uh, we're good to go on that. There's, of course, a little bit hanging over. If you're really uh, kind of anal about stuff like that, you can come in with a pair of scissors later or even cut it with a razor blade. But, yeah, that's pretty good. Now, time to clean up the magnet with one last uh, run through with the rubbing alcohol. This is just to get any kind of oils or anything off the magnet uh, so the adhesive sticks pretty good. So, uh, let's get that done. So nice. I was gonna say clean, but it doesn't look very clean. All right. It feels pretty good. Yeah, right there. Still a little bit of glue. Yeah, there's a little bit of glue right here, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue. All right, so I'll let that dry for a second. Then come in here and put our adhesive. If I can get a finger on there, pop it up. All right, and uh, yeah, I guess I mean I could cut off a little bit of this excess. It's not too bad. You know me. It's a little bit of a corner. Uh, yeah, so just trimmed off the corners, make so they weren't pointy. That's it. That's pretty good. Seems pretty nice. Trying it on the tank there. Um, all right, so let's go to move over to the 300 and see how it does. As you guys can see, the glass is pretty dirty. Uh, we're gonna get in there and uh, clean it up. I'll just do a little bit for the sake of the video, not the entire tank. It usually takes me about 20 minutes to clean the glass, depending on how bad it is. It's full of Coraline. The whole thing is kind of got specks of Coraline. It's been about a week or so, and uh, yeah, it definitely needs it. So we got the uh, attachment, which we're gonna use. It's dark here, but we got the a normal attachment, which is like a Velcro-ish, just normal. And then we got the blade, which again, I know it's dark, but you guys get the point. So let me go ahead and toss this in there. Let's 
see how it does. Ooh, feels nice. It's like a brand new set of tires on a truck. It's just nice and smooth. Uh, that's what she said. But anyway, yeah, it works. I mean, I don't need to make the video any longer basic than it already is. It works. I mean, it, there's no issues. I don't have any problems with it. Slides good. I can read it. Re uh, grab the magnet. No scratching. No worries with the magnet touching the glass. Yeah, it's good. Now, <laughs> to do the whole tank. Ugh. It's gonna take a while. But uh, yeah, it works out good. Happy with it. Yeah. So, anyway, that's about it for the video. Again, no reason to drag this out any longer than it has to be. If you guys, again, if you want to, uh, you want to purchase any of this stuff, you could be on the website, the uh, the felt and all that stuff. If you're interested, if not, it's just be up there as miscellaneous. Because uh, there's no chance that I'm ever going to use all the felt that I bought. There's, there's probably like 25, 30 colors. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess go big or go home. Whatever. Anyways, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, let me know. And uh, I'll see you later. All right. Peace.